I'm going to show you how to build a Google site today and this is where we're going to put our magazines. Um, it'll be really easy to add all of your articles and it's going to be easy to share these with your classmates so that you'll be able to read each other's magazines and learn about everybody's interesting topic. So um, you can go through class link but you're going to go to Google Drive and you're going to click new and then more and go down to Google Sites going to make a site for you here. I have made one before, but yours, if it's the first time that you open it, um, a little box is going to pop up, you know, somewhere probably around here with some tips about Google Sites and you can take their little tour. I'm going to show you the highlights right now, but you're welcome to take the tour with them too. Feel free as we're working um, to hit pause on this recording so that you can stop and try something and come back and keep listening to it. So feel free to do that. The first thing in your new site is that you're going to want to title the site and you need to make sure you're following these directions. You're going to give it the title with your last name first and then you'll type an underscore. Um, just hit shift and that's that key next to the zero key. Um, then you'll, you're going to type magazine and another underscore and then you will put your class period. So that's the title for your site. Um, then you're going to give your magazine a title. So if you just click here you can type your title. So remember, I've been doing my articles about triathlon. Notice when the title gets long enough, it bumps it down to a second line. I can make it bigger here. I can stretch out the box this way um, so that your title may fit. If yours is longer and goes on to a second line, that's fine. But I just thought I would um, put it all here on the same line. Then we are going to um, add our, the information to your cover page for your magazine and then I'll show you how to add the pages for your articles. And last I'm going to show you how to customize your magazine to make it look pretty and to have the, you know, the colors and the, the look that you want it to have. So when you come down here underneath the um, title bar, underneath that header, if you double click this pops up. So these show you the different things that you can <coughs> add to your Google site. I'm going to add a text box. And um, when you do, at the beginning of a magazine, a lot of times there is an ed, a letter from the editor to the readers. So I'm going to type um, my little letter to the readers here. Dear triathlon enthusiasts, welcome to the first edition of our new magazine. All right, and I am going to keep typing. I'm gonna put this here for now, but I'm going to put a couple of sentences here about what they're going to be reading. And then I'm going to sign it sincerely, Sarah Bear, editor in chief. So I'll have a letter here at the top welcoming the reader, and then I need to put a table of contents. So I'm going to double click down here again. See, you got this little dotted line that shows you that that's the end of your text box you've inserted there. I'm going to add another one here, and I'm going to put my table of contents. So I'm going to list my different first the table of contents, and I'm going to list my different text structures. I've got compare and contrast. Description, chronological, or sequence. I've got cause and effect, and then problem and solution. All right, so uh, I want to make my table of contents or make the words table of contents stand out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and center that. And then I'm also going to, instead of being normal text, I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to give it this be a heading. You know, I think I might make it bold to, well, maybe that's probably good enough. All right, so um, I've changed that. Um, I also, now that I have these text structures written, um, I'm going to go ahead and write, add the title of my article too. So this one is Sprint Triathlon Training versus Ironman Training. Ooh, it looks like I did that the right length. Then, this title for my description one is a little bit shorter, so I'm going to give myself a little bit less space there, and let's say this is gear setup. I see I haven't quite made that long enough, so I'm going to add a few more dots to get this lined up with the other one. And you're going to go through and do that same thing um, with all of the different titles. 
once that is done, then you're ready to do your pages. Um, so let's go over here, this menu over on the side. We are going to add our five pages for our five different articles. So if I go down to the bottom, it, put my cursor over that, it says add page. Just click there. And I'm going to call this one training. <laughs> um, I simplified this. If I make this title too long, uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of room for it. So I'm going to put training there. Then I'm, it takes me automatically to that training page. Then I'm going to add gear setup. It's making my gear setup page. Then I have um, race nutrition. Doing these in a different order. I've got avoiding injury. And my last one is the Ironman swim start. All right, so now it has automatically created these pages for me. And you'll see how it puts them in up here along the top. And it puts those in the order that you entered them. When I typed in the titles of my pages here, I did not pay enough attention to um, put them in the right order. So I want to match up. I want to make sure that these titles in here are in the same order that they show up in my table of contents. So my Ironman Swim Start, that is the description article, which I have third on my list. So I'm going to go ahead. I just click on it and drag it up here, and it will move those. And notice it moved it over here. It's now the third one. So you can move the pages around easily from that pages menu. So now you have everything built, and when you're ready, once you've finished all of your articles, I can find my Iron Man Swim Start article. I can <coughs> copy and paste it from Google Drive into a text box um, down here, and that's it. Uh, I told you I would show you how to customize your page and how to change the look. So you're going to go over here. If you click on Themes, then you'll see right now it's got Simple as the one that's selected. You can change the color if you like what that looks like, um, but you want to just change the color, you can do that. So you have those options here and you can pick custom colors as well. Um, also, I can change the font style so I can change up how that looks a little bit. Or you can scroll down and you can pick these different ones. So you can take a look at all the ones that they have for you and you can choose the one that you like best. I like that vision. <coughs> so I'm going to stick with vision, but this picture in the background really doesn't have anything to do with my topic. So if I go here, I can click on change image. Um, if you have an image yourself, like something that you've taken a picture of that's on your computer that you want to upload, you can do that. If you click here, you can go to select image and you can see some of the other ones that they have available for you too. Um, and I like this ocean one. Um, since you're swimming in a triathlon, so I've got some water there. So you can play around with how it looks once you've got everything set up. <coughs> You'll notice that this title, um, remember it took it down to two lines. I think I showed you how to do this. So you can spread this out and see if it fits here all on the same line. Um, but you can change those things. So like this font is a little bit heavy now. See if I go back in here, I can see how they look. I can change things around. So feel free to play around with it. No, yeah, I like that first one best. Let me pick that one. Um, so feel free to play around with it and change things um, once you've got to that point. We will talk later about some other things and how you can add pictures and things like that to your magazine. Um, I changed the picture or the heading for Iron Man Swim Start, but it didn't change for all of them. Maybe I have to change it from my home page. See, I'm learning these things too. So I'm going to go ahead and change the image here and select that. Does it change for all of them? Nope. So you could even customize the image based on the um, title of your, or based on the 
topic for that article. So that might be kind of cool to find an image that relates to that topic specifically. The last thing that I wanted to show you guys today is up here at the top. Notice we've got our homepage, but then we've got training, gear setup, Ironman, swim start. That's just three of my pages. When I go here to more, I can click these other two. So you can see those as well. You can always access them from this pages menu too. So I can click here on my race nutrition and it will take me to that page. So once all of your articles are written, you can set up your Google site. Um, you can start customizing it and you can be um, cutting, pasting your articles <coughs> onto the pages of your magazine. Uh, let Mrs. Bear know if you have any questions, I'd uh, love to help you. Um, and I know a lot of your classmates um, are going to be, are really good at this at Google Sites too. So um, there are other people um, who would be happy to help you with this too. But I think you're going to like it and um, I think our magazines are going to look really cool. So this will be a fun way to share the writing that we're doing coming up with our classmates. Thanks and we will come back to this and talk about um, how to customize your page a little bit more later on.